Hello dear students I hope you all are doing well Now this is the second video of digital initiatives in higher education This is about swayam and this is the part 1 of swayam which I am going to discuss in this video There is a second part also of swayam only that uh, you can uh, access and you can learn you can have a complete information about swayam with the help of both these parts in the first video of digital initiatives in higher education we talked about the uh, national scheme under which all these digital initiatives are given swayam is a very very important topic from exam point of view from any exam point of view basically competitive and also any student who is in education line should know each and everything about swayam now in these two videos i am covering the entire information about swayam so let's uh, start about it swayam the full form of swayam is study webs of active learning for young aspiring minds swayam now what swayam is it is india's own moocs platform for free online courses on almost all the disciplines all the disciplines means it is available for almost all the programs being it humanities commerce sciences engineering medical etc it is available for many things many subjects uh, so you can have free online resources available to read and enhance and enrich your learning it is india's own moocs platform earlier india didn't have any moocs platform which means moocs means massive open online courses masses means which are available for a large number of population open means they are available for all there is no uh, eligibility kind of thing that this person can do this or this person cannot do this course most of the people can uh, are eligible to uh, uh, to complete these courses to do these courses online courses massive open online courses online means they are available online they can be accessed with the help of internet uh, in these courses if there are assignments if there are um, a test if there are if there is discussion everything will be done on online platform so swayam is online platform this is a program which means swayam is a program initiated by government of india it is designed to achieve the three cardinal principles now this is very important three cardinal principles of education policy the education policy here is the national education policy now uh, you may have seen the national education policy 2020 which has come so the three cardinal principles the three main principles are access equity and quality access means any person can any student can access these courses anywhere any time they want so that maximum people can reach these resources this is the main principle behind this program equity equity means these as these courses are free for all so that equity means equal opportunities are provided there is no discrimination in doing these courses anyone can do these free courses and they are highly quality courses to do which means the third principle is quality it is bringing quality there is a uh, the teachers who are teaching these courses are mostly from iits iims and from uh, good universities they are renowned professors who are teaching these courses so there is quality the resources that are put in it for example the uh, content the material the videos the audios uh, or the written text uh, material that is put in these courses are of high quality so these courses are very nice to do 
Now the objective behind this Swayam platform, this program is to ensure access to the best teaching learning resources to all. So we understood earlier also that it is bringing access, equity and quality so that the good resources, the good learning resources can reach to all and many people which means masses can get maximum benefit out of it and including the most disadvantage because of lack of, we all know because of lack of uh, money, because of lack of uh, resources, uh, many people do not get good education. So this platform will bring in equity which means uh, will bring in opportunity of learning from uh, good teachers, of learning from the best teachers all over the India free of cost. So these courses are very important to do. This is also done to bridge the digital divide for learners. This is a digital divide that uh, many people do not know how to access things. So these free courses will give them access. See, the internet can be, uh, with the help of internet, any learner can read from anywhere, anytime they want, who have remained untouched by the digital revolution. There are many people who are doing paid digital courses. Now these are free digital courses and with the help of free courses, most of the students will now be comfortable with the digitalization and doing online courses and have not been able to join the mainstream of knowledge economy. Because of the lack of money, we all know that many people do not get good education and this is a very good initiative by Government of India for getting this. This is done through an indigenously developed. Indigenously means it is basically developed in India. Uh, developed IT or cloud platform that facilitates posting of all the courses uh, taught in the classrooms from 9 standards till post graduation. Now this is a very good thing that these courses are available for class 9 till post graduation which means master's courses to be accessed by anyone, anywhere, anytime. Now these courses are interactive, prepared by more than 1000 reputed teachers. As I told you, all these teachers are the best teachers in the country and are available free of cost. The best thing is they are available free of cost. The learning experience has been enriched by using audio videos and multimedia. Multimedia means many type of media are used which means there is text material in the form of PPT or PDFs and also there are audio visuals there are audios wherever required, there are videos of the teacher or the uh, professor who are teaching them and uh, there is a discussion forum also and state of the art pedagogy technology. Now let's understand how Swayam works. Swayam works and hosted and hosted on uh, four quadrants. Four quadrants means it is divided into four parts. Any course on Swayam is divided in four parts which means it has video lectures. All courses must have video lectures. Second thing which Swayam, ha Swayam course has is specially prepared reading material that can be downloaded and printed which can be form which can be in form of word file, PDF or PPT. The third one is self-assessment test through test and quizzes which means either there will be some assignment or quiz which will be done uh, on a particular time by the learner and the fourth one is online discussion forum so that for clearing the doubt so that the child will feel connected with the teacher. Now in this discussion forum this is a very important thing now in this discussion forum what learner and teacher can do is they discuss on several things and uh, the child or the learner will be uh, will be have 
uh, video lectures and reading materials and self assessment test so these courses are boring and there is online discussion forum also so these this, uh, courses are not at all boring they are very very interactive courses now there are nine national coordinators who are involved in this swayam platform and we must know and you know you, you should if you are preparing for some exam you should learn about it the first one is ugc they are doing for post graduation non technical education i'll uh, give the full form of all these uh, ugc cec etc in the next slide so that you must know what we are talking about ugc for post graduation uh, non technical education cec for undergraduate non technical education and ptel for engineering and cert for school education nios for out of school education igno for diploma and certificate courses through distance learning and ictcr for teachers training iim bangalore for management studies and aicte for urban courses i tell you about all of them I C R A I C T E for other courses and courses from foreign universities. Now I'll tell you these full forms. Uh, before going for the full forms, I I would like to tell you that these are these national coordinators, these nine national coordinators, which means U G C C E C N T T E L N C R T N I O S I G N U N I T T T R IIM Bangalore and AICTE are the national coordinators who are involved in the courses related with these, which are written for them. Like UGC is taking care of post graduation non technical education and CEC for undergraduate non technical education. I hope it is clear. Let's move to the next. Now these important abbreviations you should know. UGC stands for University Grants Commission. CEC Consortium for Educational Commission. All these abbreviations are all these full forms are very very important. They are asked in exams. NCTEL National Project for Technology Enabled Learning. NCERT National Council of Educational research and training nios national institute of open schooling ignu we all know indira gandhi national open university and ittr national institute of technical teachers training and research iim indian institute of management aicte all india council of technical education arpit annual refresher program in teaching now let's learn more about swayam swayam was formally launched on 9 7 2017 by honorable president of india that time pranav mukherjee was our president till date about 2200 courses have been offered to swayam in which about 500 courses are on of for january 2019 semester more than 50 lakh students have registered on swayam platform and there are more than 1 crore enrollments in various courses so we can understand by reading these that how swayam is developing how how revolutionary swayam platform is developing 